Well, I guess we're gonna have to take control. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. It's very early in the morning with me, your host, the DJ. And you know what? I just have to um, talk about it, family. Talk about it, family. Talk about it, family. You know, when we have so much dysfunction and we can talk about it on a individual level, because you know we got it. All of us have dysfunction on an individual level. We don't even want to talk about the dysfunction we suffer collectively as a community. Not only do I feel, in my humble opinion, that we have um, we have developed because of the institutionalized structure of, uh, of racism and white supremacy, um, we have developed an, an excuse, almost laden behavior, when it comes to defending some of the behaviors that black folks do. Y'all get that what I said? Let, let me say it again. Because of our trauma and all of the trauma that has been bestowed upon us by this larger community who are, in my opinion, straight sociopaths. They were sociopaths when they left Britain. They came over here and then crazy started the country. And this is what you have now. And they've gone back to the crazy right back in office that you can see. You can actually see it, the psych psychosis um, that most, hate to say it, but Europeans are comfortable with. Because if he, if they weren't, he wouldn't be in office. These, this, these are the same social paths, that one percent that created this country, this experiment called America in the first place. Now, what we have gotten, us, as people who have been stolen and dumped into this environment and then told to assimilate or made to assimilate by beating, lynching, castrations, rape, and all that stuff, the, the, the residue of what you have left is some very angry people, okay, because we're very angry. We're angry because y'all haven't addressed the trauma that y'all put up on us and you don't want to do it. And it's like, like I said, being in a narcissistic environment where Whenever you are telling the person that they're projecting, they, white supremacy projects all of its ills upon the black community. Okay, um, they're afraid of us, but they're the one that's doing all the beating and lynching and killing of us since we got here. I mean, so you can see the psychology, which is madness, that has been pushed upon us by this dominant group. And as a result of that, we can't hardly handle the truth. Um, we are very protective, as we should be, over our culture, over our people, over our mores, because we already know what can happen, what has happened, okay? So by the same token, I contend that we are the first people on the earth, and like it or not, we are the moral compass for the world. So when people say, how can y'all keep on doing that? How can y'all keep on loving these people? How can because we first. And all nations come from our womb. Okay? So if they came from our loins, how can you hate your wayward, crazy-ass children? You just go, I got a fucked-up son. Or a fucked-up daughter. But can you actually, actually hate them? Hate is a real strong word. And you might hate their behavior. You might. But when you start talking about just hating them individually, and you realize that you produce them, then what are you saying? That conversation takes a different turn, at least in my opinion. So the reason why y'all probably want to know what, where I'm coming from is like, I'm seeing a lot of controversy on my page, um, not uh, or my email, not just because of, of what I said the other day about R. Kelly, in which I meant, I, I believe it. It's what I know about Robert. And I stand on it. 
I stand on it that he's very mentally challenged and people take advantage of him and took advantage of him just like he took advantage of them. Okay, and I'm saying it's an everyday thing. Well, well, in the ghetto, if the dope dealers ride down the street, <laughs> he got more paper than everybody else on the streets. The little girls are going to flock. In, matter of fact, he's going to send out signals to call that girl. A lot of y'all ain't going to do nothing about it. I've seen it. I have. A, I know a neighbor of mine who a shark took her daughter. Just took her. Now, I'm not, I don't know nothing about her parenting skills because, again, I, I wasn't there from the inception of her child being born up until when the pimp got a hold to her. But I can tell you this. At 15 years old, a guy wanted to talk to the mama at first. And when he found out that she had a, uh, I'm sorry, not at 15 years old. At first, the guy wanted to talk to the mother. And the mom didn't really, you know, have nothing for him. But he saw her one day walking with her daughter. And after that, everything was history. It became a hookup. Okay? Him and her daughter was the hookup. Okay? So when y'all start acting like this stuff don't go down in our community, again, I just... Take offense to it, and I, I I know we're being disingenuous. And the reason why I'm talking about this, this is how it tie in. Just like everybody is saying, um, and I admit that those were young girls, um, but in some, a lot of times our girls have been exploited at such an early age. That's why they can be 13 and 14 years old. In some instances, um, mentally, they're 12 and 13. But physically, the way they manipulate and control their bodies, it's all because somebody has probably molested them and they are uh, prolific at sex and sex acts. But not all the emotional uh, charge and stuff that goes along with that. See, so that's what we have here. And what I've done, um, I've just compared the comments or the emails mostly that y'all have sent me and continue to send them to artists for freedom. Artist for freedom dot a n w a r at gmail. I tell you again. Artist, artist a r t i s t s for f o r freedom f r e e d o m dot a n w a r at gmail. Continue to send me your comments because what I noticed that I see a lot of similarities. Y'all probably say how I'm gonna explain to you between Jasper Williams. And the response to his remarks from Aretha Franklin's eulogy to our, how our community is handling this R. Kelly stuff. I've never seen such a charge, something that's charging us up so much. But what we should be charged up about is that damn psychopath that we got up in the White House. But nevertheless, let's just move on. Um, what I, 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 in my opinion, I saw a lot of people that got extremely angry. I'm going to go with Jasper. And in my opinion, it's only because he aired out our dirty laundry. Um, a lot of people are mad and they want to blame R. Kelly or they want to say this is an aberration, some isolated group. When they know good and well, they send their daughters out to go and catch me. They know it. I know uh, a woman that stood up one time in testimony service because her mother had, I think, seven girls. And she told them they should never be uh, broke because they sitting on a gold mine. And she had every one of her daughters, uh, she exposed every one of them to prostitution. This was a mother. This was a mother. Okay. So with that being said, y'all know what y'all do. And, I, you know, I'm not worried about the outer community or the dominant community. I'm speaking about us right now. So when I began to look at some of the comments, that was given to me um, from the eulogy. I just want to go over some of them right now. I want y'all to share this with you. Just check this out. Mm -hmm. But before I go there, oh, shoot. Before I go there, though, um, this is the 51, uh, 50 shirt 
that I got on. Y'all know whenever I put this 51, 50 Nation shirt on, I really don't care. I go crazy. So what I what I what I wanted to share was some of these damn emails, I mean comments that got people up in arms. Okay, okay. Thank you, Pastor, for bringing some clarity to your to to your message for our community. You are speaking the truth, and God bless you. Okay. Somebody else said that seventy percent of black men in the house is so stupid. Studies show over half of those men who don't live under the roof with their children are very much in their kids' lives. And besides, if the average black woman with kids has multiple baby daddies, then obviously one of those multiple children won't have their father in the house, right? Shaking my head. Okay. Then you got somebody else that said he's a bougie black. Okay. Now, all this, this shit you're talking, in, 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 I just want you to kind of put this in context of those girls that had fathers and also that were supposedly in the home, but that were sick on R. Kelly, um, and put that in perspective about how we respond to how when people pull the cover off our negative, bad, crazy behavior. Studies show over half of white fathers are missing from their homes, which explains white-on-white -white crimes, mass shoot, school shootings, murders, residential burglaries, redneck incest, bestiality, suicides, deadly white opioid, fentanyl epidemic, white teen pregnancy at 60, etc., etc. Okay, so this is from a this is from bougie black. Um, who wants to talk about? They want to deflect. Okay, this is part of the mantra in America. That's that go to good deflection. All right. How awful to make such a comment. <laughs> Again, you need to step back and examine what causes baby daddies. Okay. This is bougie black again. You need to step back and examine the unreported white crimes, mass school shootings, opioid psychosis. So this person, bougie black, wants to continue to um, deflect and go back to white social uh behavior when we already know what they do hell they beat us that we are listen are y'all any it's surprised by any behaviors that white people do if you are you're the fool anything that you that they do to us after 400 years of seeing your history unless you don't believe it you shouldn't be surprised by nothing these uh crazy bald heads do nothing and to act like you're so shocked and that it's oh it's still this is totally disingenuous. These people have a history of that. Okay? And so, and we have a history of not only uh of imitating these individuals, but for covering up for our madness and then deflecting it up on them and say, well, they do it, they do it. Yeah, but they psychotic. What's your excuse? They taught you how to be psychotic. And you're doing it real good. It's the whole collective energy of the country, narcissism. Okay, um, I keep saying that race is a social construct. Y'all don't want to believe it? That's fine. You don't have to. I know that I was my people were first. They were closer to the equator. That's what gives me a brown skin. Okay, the people that were under the water in the ice age and came out from them cold European caves. They steal my seed at the end of the day. If you know that you're Adam and you know that you're Eve, then all this stuff really collectively makes um, should make a little bit more sense. This is another comment. The black church has failed black men and children, and here they've come to brag about it. Jasper Williams gave the message white supremacy has been trying to deliver its whole existence. Men did not leave women. Women left men. Okay, so now we're going to have, inside this conversation, we're going to have a gender battle. I ain't got time for it. Martha, you need to go to hell with Jesse. That's where you two belong. 
you two are so lost, no wonder why your race is such a big mess. Okay. Um, I don't know who Martha is, but oh well. This is another person said women 65 and older are mothers are there are more single mothers who are white than the entire population of blacks in America. Okay. Okay. And then there's somebody else that said, never apologize for telling the truth, the real truth. Never. No matter who it hurts, that's not your job to worry about the outcome. Dean Constantine, this person is responding to this person. That 70% of black men in the house is so stupid. Studies show that over half of those men don't live under the roof with their children and are very much in their kids' lives. And besides, if the average black woman with kids has multiple baby daddies, then obviously one of those multiple children won't have their fathers in the house, right? There is no truth here. Just a bunch of men hating and women hating with no accountability and loyalty. And I agree. Um, you know, I can keep on going down these comments. But the, what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to find the ones that I'm looking at. You Poor you, you want a hug for all your uh, oppression. Yes, yes, yes. We are living in a day and time where people are calling right wrong and wrong right. I agree with that, Lee Lee Rocks. Truth makes you mad, but then it sets you free. And that's the truth. So, you know, black folks, don't we don't want to hear the truth about what goes on in our community, especially when it's reported back by white folk. Um, I remember in my town, you know, and I'm sure it happens in every urban area across America where, um, you know, people buy food stamps because it's that rough for a lot of us. A lot of us can't, we're not eligible for food stamps, but that don't mean we don't need them. So, uh, you know, um, I know one day I was watching TV and I saw a young lady on there exposing to the media how they go about getting stamps from customers since they don't use the papers food stamps no more and how uh, black folks hustle. She's exposed the secret. And two days later, somebody saw her in the streets and they beat the shit out of her. And I'm not saying that that's right. But they perceived her to be a threat to their survival. Do you understand? Um, some of this stuff is really that bad that it is a threat to our survival. It is. I'm sorry, y'all. I think my dogs are acting up and I can't even finish the uh, video. But the moral of the story is we can do a lot of projection. If we don't start taking accountability for ourselves, our lives, our behavior, then all of this is for naught. All this y'all talking about, it, you know, it really makes no sense, okay? Um, you know, I, 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 I hate, I know I make a lot of people mad with this comment, but if you spend your whole life Every generation has, if you born into the hue that I am, we know that there is a um, almost a diabolical way that they distorted our brain pattern, okay? So instead of growing up healthy and happy and being at an advantage like most white people, knowing that they own shit, they know they run it, even if they poor. They have a dis they have an advantage over you because you're brown or black or whatever the situation may be. Doesn't matter if you were descendant of a slave or her. Um, but there's just this arrogance that comes over them. Once they see a brown person, when they walk into the room, they begin to feel superior. And that's all because of conditioning. So once you can free yourself, because now it's a it's a battle for your mind. And I want you to understand that more important than anything. 
So the first thing you got to do if you want to get control of your mind is to start being honest about your situation. Start with your individual situation, the narcissist that you are around. The, and you know, and I, I hate to use that word because I think it's overused to a degree. I mean, the, the people that are high conflict. You know what I mean? You know it's some kind of personality disorder going on here. Um, because, um, and you use a, kind of use a gauge of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> kind of use a gauge of, of what would Jesus do? I mean, because, <laughs> I don't even know if that's a good gauge. Because, <laughs> you know, this Jesus they created is very corrupt, so I don't even know if you can go there. But you can go here. You can say, I know it's difficult when you brought into a dysfunctional environment. So when you have a dysfunctional environment, you have to work twice as hard to be normal. That's just mentally. Now, I'm not talking about financially, none of that other stuff. I'm just talking about mentally. From day one, there are people out to take your soul, your self-esteem, the way you think about yourself. And you can tell yourself all kinds of highfalutin type of stuff, but if you don't address the um, overall collective, you know, racism, uh, psychopathic nature of what racism is, then it's going to be hard for you to see it on your individual level. So that's why you have to start with saying, wow, my mom or my dad and them are really dysfunctional. And I, my community was dysfunctional. Um, I'm not supposed to be growing up uh, hearing music blasting until 3 o'clock in the morning and nobody got a job. And they all sitting around drinking and smoking. Um, I'm not supposed to be, that's, that's not normal. So if we can start there with our families. There's got to be one bright bulb in a bunch. And if there's not, then we're going to continue to see the void in our community the way we do. We're going to continue to see the garbage in our community the way we do. And I know I can't finish this stuff with, with Jasper. I wanted to go down and just reiterate, uh, continue, because all of the excuses, I was going to compare these with what they were saying in my email about um, R. Kelly. But again, I'm not going to be able to do that right now uh, because I still have one mongrel that needs to go outside and y'all might can't hear him but I can hear him whining um so with that being said I'm going to be back a little later with another video in the meantime sweep around your own front door for your ass go trying to sweep around somebody else I have to so with that being said if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Pepper, you want to come and say hi? Pepper LaBeja. Pepper LaBeja. Y'all want to see Pepper? She's got a lot bigger. You want to say hi to these people? Pepper. Hey, Pepper. This Pepper. Hey, Pepper. Say hi to them, Pepper. Hey, Pepper LaBeja. Y'all see Pepper. This Pepper. Hey, Pepper LaBeja. Y'all know who Pepper LaBeja is? <laughs> this is Pepper. Pepper is five months. This is my baby, Pepper. <laughs> That's Pepper. Say hi, Pepper. Say hi, too. You don't want to say hi to these people. You in there making all this noise, you can stop the video, and now you don't even want to speak. All right. That's Pepper, you guys. She's five months old. She's a kind of course, so and she's out of her damn mind. Yeah. All right, with that being said, we'll be back a, a little later for another video. Okay? Like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.